Hello everyone, it's Maggie the Cheshire Crafter here. As you can see, I've got my Christmas tree behind me and I'm going to show you some of my Christmas decorations in this video. But I've been to a number of shops this week and uh, picked up some things for Christmas. And I've been into Chester today and I've taken some photographs of the lights there and uh, I'm going to show those. I think they'll, they're going to be as photographs. When you're in a wheelchair, and it's cobbly, the um, video would come out way too shaky, I think. So I'm hoping that I've managed to capture some photographs. Earlier in the week, I went to visit my brother in Northwich, which is Mid Cheshire. And on the way back, uh, my carer took me to uh, uh, the Hollies, which is a complex with a farm shop. And I bought some items there. So I'm going to show you what I've bought uh, there. And today in Chester, with a view of crafting in mind. And some of these items weren't for sale for crafters, but I've spotted them and I can see a multiple use for them, if you like. We're good at that, aren't we? Good at spotting that. Uh, and then I'll show you some of my own Christmas decorations. So come into the kitchen and see what we've got. One of the programmes that I watch on the television is The Real Housewives of Cheshire, which is a franchise. You've seen The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and there is another one from the UK, which is Jersey. Well, um, the Cheshire Housewives uh, look very glamorous, but uh, they don't behave very well, uh, neither as friends uh, nor in public very well. Uh, and they're clusters nouveau riche so they're very often women that might have a business of their own uh, but um, they aren't, don't come from old money and there is a term called the Cheshire set where it's old money handed down family to family and Tarpoli in particular which is mid Cheshire is an area where the Cheshire set live and shop and I'm talking about shops where they will go to a farm shop that sell. If I could have taken photographs inside the farm shop, you'd have been delighted. Um, they will put things into a trolley and not look at the price. So I'm talking about £22 for a box of chocolates. Small, just a small box of chocolates. I put those back quick. <laughs> I can't afford that. But if you can afford to shop there, you, you're looking for things that are either good value for money or you can't get anywhere else and they're real treats. So I did treat myself to a couple of things. Uh, and this is one thing. One thing that they do sell is beautiful tins of biscuits. Now this is very evidently back to front for you. And I'm sorry about the glare, but you can see it's a Christmas polar bear. And this tin is embossed. Now, if you've seen me with my crafts, you've seen that I have a love of tins and I couldn't resist the color and the polar bear on this one. Uh, it was 9 99 and it happens to be filled with biscuits, toffee flavoured biscuits with butterscotch pieces. And uh, I can eat those anyway up to the end of September. So that came home in my trolley. And then as you've seen, I've done with decoupage, I buy napkins and they sell a very good German make of napkins. These are three ply napkins and I've bought some to look at some decoupage for next year. Uh, can you see that one? That's a beautiful rocking horse and a wreath. Now I can either use the rocking horse, the wreath or both in that one. There's 20 in a pack, three ply, very good quality, uh, £4.50 a pack. And there's this one. If you saw me doing the decoupage cards with the uh, Joy Caravan, the Christmas Caravan, that's the same make as these. So can you see that? The seaside I'm sorry about the serviette uh, wrapping here, but it's a bicycle with uh, tree decorations on it. And they were £4.50 for a pack of 20. And today I've been into Chester and I've been to uh, a company called, I can't actually pronounce it. I bought this lovely bag from them. This was 79p and it's called Sostrine Green. And if I'm mispronouncing that, I really apologise. Uh, but I've gone in there looking for things that I can use in my crafts. And lo and behold, look, uh, packs of napkins. These are 20 in a pack. 
if I can see that without the glare, you can see that's a car travelling home for Christmas with all the, the uh, Christmas parcels in the pack. So the same both sides. So I think there'll be four images on that napkin. And likewise, I've got a very pastel one that's houses. Let's see, can you pick up the detail on those houses there without the glare? And they, I couldn't believe it, they were £1.24 a pack. So they were a good, a third of the price of the ones that I bought in the Hollies. Uh, I don't regret buying the Hollies one, but I'm just really pleased with that. Uh, now, they do sell some things that are for crafts. And I bought this. Uh, not seen it anywhere else. It's called, I think it says Anna and Clara's Effect Snow 100 mils. And I've opened it and I've tried it on a piece of paper. And it's almost like a glue that dries a little bit chalky so i'm going to try it on canvases to see if i can get a snow effect say on the top of uh, on the top of mountains uh that was about two pound 198 not seen that before so i'll be really interested to see what effect i can get with that it looks like a cross between a pva glue and chalk paint uh i have got something similar uh, in craft but i've spent a lot more than that before now and then these two items are actually metal, pieces of metal. And to me, they're just beautifully designed. These are actually candle holders. I'll show you the back. And what they're intended for is you put your candle in the middle and then you fold all these pieces up so that it creates the shape like that around the candle. However, I spotted that and I said, to me, that's a stencil and that's a stencil. So I bought them and I'm going to use them as stencils. And then I found this. It was in like clean your dishes with these. But look at this little brush. I think it was about £1.30. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's a really good stippling brush for going through those stencils. So I'm going to have a go at that. A little bamboo tree decoration and it's woven. And that gave me an idea for, you can get no-sew decorations, can't you, with Christmas patchwork. And I liked the idea of that. Uh, I'll tell you how much that was in a minute, if I can find the prices on these things. Uh, the stencils, I think the prices are on the back. £1.23. This brush was £1.30. Marvellous. The little tree was about yeah, £1.33. They're very good with that. Then I spotted these uh, paper straws with um, a gold sheen on them, which is not easy to get hold of. Uh, they were £1.38 and they reminded me of very much Alice in Wonderland. And I want to do some Alice in Wonderland themed cards or just other items uh, as the year progresses. And then last but not least at the tills, we saw this. I've never heard of it before, but I said, well, I like salt and I like licorice. And this is mix salt licorice. You see those in the pack? No idea what they're going to taste like. And they were £1.82 for that pack. So I said, you know what? Let's try them. I can only say they're disgusting. Let's throw them away. But I think that's worth trying. So I'm really pleased with those things. Uh, now, in this video then... Because I've spoken for quite a while now, I might only have time to show you some photographs of Chester City Centre. What I'll do later is I'll upload a different video which shows some of my Christmas decorations uh, around my home and just by my front door. And I hope you like that. So for now, this is Maggie saying bye for now. Come back and see me again soon, won't you? But I'm going to leave you with Chester City Centre Christmas decorations. And from Cheshire... I wish you a very happy Christmas wherever you are in the world. OK, bye for now. Ta-da!
Eastgate Street and uh, the church and the cross. Down to um, Bridge Street and the Rose. <laughs> 